You done it now. You gone in me to beat me dead. Now do my Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here and welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Destino. This month's tournament was named after, obviously, Tetsuya Naito, the current PCW World Champion, the only man to be two-time PCW World Champion and a two-time PCW Monthly Champion, so I felt it was only right. Now this month we are returning to the singles format, we are going away from the landmine death matches for now, and Tetsuya Naito is looking for his first challenger, so who will it be coming out of this tournament to face off against Tetsuya Naito and Xenon AMVs? I also just wanted to give a quick thank you to everyone who supports PCW, whether it be being in the actual tournaments by being a patron or uh, just look, looking at the videos, watching them, or leaving a like, or whatever the case may be. Thank you guys so much. We've broken another participation record this month for PCW Destino. We have 52 patrons in this tournament. We broke the 50 count, and now we are moving higher and higher and higher. So thank you guys for allowing that to happen. Remember, guys, if you want to support, leaving a thumbs up, just commenting down below is a great way of doing so. I'd love to hear in the comments below what your favorite match of this episode was. And let's go ahead and get into round number one of PCW Destino and see what we can cook up. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Raymond Yu from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He is the cerebral booker of NXT, Triple H. On his way to the ring, representing Hyperwolf from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. The only face painted WCW champion in history, the man they call Sting. Here we go. The first lockup in PCW Destino. We got Wolfpack, Sting, and Triple H in the white booties. Look at my man breaking them out for such a historic evening. Here in PCW, Sting is getting his ass molly walked by Triple H right now. If you guys remember back to this WrestleMania match, Sting and Triple H faced off. Sting maybe not in the Wolfpack attire. Triple H maybe not in the white booties and the long hair. But things happen at WrestleMania. And Sting ended up losing to Triple H. Will Sting be able to turn the tables and get a W over Triple H this time? Or will he eat a pedigree and we call it a night? As of right now, if I were to pick one, it looks like Triple H is beating the brakes off Sting, but Sting is bringing it back right now, and I got nothing but respect for a legend here. He's going for that shoulder blade of Triple H. Maybe he thinks that'll do more damage on the Scorpion Death. Not too sure, but we'll see. Sting now with a suplex taking down Triple H here towards the corner, but Triple H is going to fire right back with a shot to the head there. Sting can't be taking too many of those, especially with that face paint. Sting now with the atomic drop in the corner. Triple H fires off a shot. That triggers a strike contest back and forth. Strikes here from both men. Triple H with the greatest of ease. My man's got a figure four leg lock in on Sting. Ric Flair in this tournament. Rick and Triple H going way back to evolution days. Now the punch of flurries here from Triple H. Going towards the center of the ring now, Triple H with the midsection, Sting, Tombstone Pile Driver. Maybe a little shouts out to The Undertaker who we'll see later on in this tournament. Sting throwing it down, still wants that WrestleMania match. I think he might not be getting it at this point. I heard Sting could possibly still wrestle, yet they still do not want to do Sting versus Undertaker at any point for some reason. Sting flipping over Triple H. Now Triple H dragging Sting, center of the ring. Oh, roll through here from Sting. Two. Two point, oh baby. Triple H almost just got sent home packing. Sting with a lariat, now he wants that scorpion death lock. Is Triple H going to tap out? No, Triple H is gonna get out of that and try to change something up here. The flurry of punches here from Triple H will floor Sting straight into the floor. You see what I did there? Suplex here from Sting now as both men are at a reset seven minutes in. 
who will take the upper hand here as Triple H starts to get some moves in here. Combination flurry, taking down Sting. Center of the ring, Sting with a judo throw into the Scorpion Deathlock again. And Triple H still not giving up. Triple H targeting that head. He wants that pedigree. All it takes is one. Sleeper now locked in on Triple H. Sting trying to put my man to sleep. Triple H picking up Sting. What's he going to do? Nothing as Sting's going to be the one to get the upper hand in the situation. Dropping the suplex. Dropping the elbow. In comes Sting. But Triple H is going to be able to fight off the attack there with a flurry of punches. Sting back to his feet. He's a little knocked out cold. Maybe playing possum. Triple H with a punch. Atomic Drizop from my man Sting. Doing the smart thing, getting some stamina back, but Triple H with the taunt. He was going to chase Sting to the outside, but that ain't what happened there, boss man. Sting now picking up Triple H over the head. Look at that. The pure, unadulterated strength of the Stingmon. Punch is coming in from Triple H now. Into the turnbuckle goes Sting as Triple H, Tree of Wozum, super old school. The dick kicks from Triple H. He picks him back up now in the corner, using that knee real good. Sting going to try to get him up from behind. Atomic drop here from Sting. Oh, wait a minute. Able to reverse into a back driver there, sending Triple H's head into the mat. A punch here from Sting. Wait a minute. Pile driver from Sting. Triple H going to fire back. Not going to let the pile driver keep him down too long. Off the ropes goes Sting. Now Triple H. Boom. Big spine buster. The back and forth in this match is nothing short of incredible. Now Sting wants to end this matchup. Big double axe handle to the back of Triple H. will send him flying to the... It's not even the mat anymore. It's the cold hard concrete on the outside. Sting now back into the ring. Another tombstone pal driver as Sting goes down with an elbow drop. The tombstone pal driver shouts out to Undertaker. Triple H facing Undertaker here at the greatest showdown in Australia or whatever it's called. As Sting and Triple H fire off. Triple H with a lariat. Sting with a lariat. The back and forth has been nothing short of incredible. As these two are still going at it, Sting with the sleeper now. Will Triple H give up? No, he will not. Swinging neckbreaker there from Triple H as he picks Sting up. Sting one more time. Tombstone pile driver. He wants the end of this match. Off the ropes goes Triple H. A hit from Sting. Not going to happen. Triple H firing back with a punch. Off the ropes now. Triple H. Another spine buster. But Sting is back to his feet first. Atomic drop. What is going to happen here as we are now 15 minutes, 30 seconds in this matchup. Sting dragging Triple H's old hairy ass to the center of the ring. A big lariat from Sting. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Atomic drop will send my man down. DDT from Triple H. This is, this is crazy. These two are really doing it. These two are really going to kill each other. Sting picks up Triple H now. He does not want to lose this matchup. Triple H off the ropes. Big boot from Sting will drop Triple H center of the ring. Atomic drop. This man's not having no more kids after this one. Sting picking up Triple H. Big lariat will send him to the ground. Picking him back up. A drop kick combination from Sting. But Triple H is back to his feet. Sting showing off the strength. Even 17 minutes in, Sting is still showing off the strength. The man has got reserves. Off the ropes, a big boot there from Sting. Knee to the midsection, DDT will drop Sting as Triple H looks to stalk. Will he get the win off the DDT? No, just a two, Sting will kick out. Dropping Triple H there with the reversal. But Triple H is not gonna lay on that for too long as he gets back up. Sting now showing off with that Gorilla Press one more time. 18 minutes, 50 seconds, and this is just the first match. We're in the first match. Sting up, going for the shoulder blades of Triple H now. As he drags him to the center of the ring, Sting wants that Scorpion Death Drop. He's calling for it. What is Sting going to do here? 
Big power driver from Sting, but Triple H back to his feet already. We are now at the 20 minute mark in this matchup. One of the longer matches in PCW right here as Triple H starts firing off with some punches to the neck. And now Sting's trying to throw out some forearms. Back and forth, sleeper hole locked in. Is Triple H gonna give up 20 minutes, 40 seconds in? No, somehow Triple H is able to fight out of that sleeper. I don't know how he did it, but he has done it. Wait a minute! Pedigree from Triple H! Will that be enough to put Sting away? Yes, Triple H! And Raymond, you will be moving on. What was that match percentage? Because they really just did the damn thing. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Insurrection from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the Phenom, the Undertaker. On his way to the ring, representing Eric from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. They used to just call him Francis, but now he's Falaba. Well, matter of fact, we get Undertaker right now. Undertaker in the true good. God almighty, this man's laying down the fist of fury. But Falaba is gonna fire back. Ba, 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 the true legend in the wrestling biz, baby. Fala Ba is here in PCW. Now he has one hell of an opponent. The Undertaker being his very first opponent. Undertaker making his PCW debut. Fala Ba making his also. We'll see which one can move on. Look at this man. Fala Ba, he is an absolute unit. Will Undertaker be able to take his ass down? Followed by going for that move in the corner. Tree. Oh no, I thought he was going for a trio. Whoa, this man said, like, you need this body slam instead. I'm Fala Ba. Ba, 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 Ba. Fala Ba with the overhead hit there as Ba goes into the turnbuckle. Undertaker. Oh, the combination punches. This man, Undertaker's got the brutal move set. You done it now. You gone in me to be my dad. No, no, no. Undertaker. Oh. Oh, 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 a choke slam. 2.9 Fala Ba was able to kick out. Undertaker now with a knee to Fala Ba. Do we have a showdown? Undertaker and Fala Ba, two legends. Undertaker gonna take him down. Oh, the knee to the midsection there from the Undertaker. Now Fala Ba gonna fire back with some punches of his own. Wait a minute. Tombstone pile driver from the underwear, dude. Answer. Fala Ba 2.9? Is Fala Ba really about to do it? Uh oh, maybe not. Undertaker with the tombstone pile driver. And that will send Fala Ba straight to hell. Yeah. 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 Undertaker and Insurrection moving on. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Levi H from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's not the big dog, he's the little dog, Baby Reigns. On his way to the ring, representing Grant M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's the Ayatollah of YouTube Rolla, Chris Jericho. Just so everybody knows, PCW Destino is being recorded with my little kitty cat Boma. Yes, 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 yes. Just sitting here right here watching all the matches with me. Yes, yes. Code Breaker from Chris Jericho as he makes his PCW debut facing off against none other than crowd favorite, Baby Reigns. He's all the Roman Reigns you need, but half the size. Codebreaker from Chris Jericho. My man has got those on deck. Is he gonna 2.9? We almost saw the end of Baby Reigns right then. Would've been a hell of a debut for Chris Jericho as he goes to the top rope. Superplex, this man's got the moves on deck. 2.9 again. 
Chris Jericho has got the power moves. Baby Reigns is going to have to stop this. Oh, I think he wanted that spear. I think he wanted that baby spear. My man went for the chop there, but Baby Reigns is going to take across that shoulder right there. Chris Jericho now on the defense as Baby Reigns moves in with the big dog. Ooh, ah. Off the ropes. Oh, well, it just truly be like that sometimes. As Baby Reigns goes down in a blaze of glory. Now he's got Chris Jericho where he wants him. He wants that hair. He's going after them legs. Them dad legs. Back and forth action here from Baby Reigns and Chris Jericho as they throw punches. Strike contest is still going. Chris Jericho with an enziguri will drop it. Wow. Jericho making a statement in his first ever PCW tournament, but Baby Reigns is going to return the favor. Chris Jericho with a normal wide suplex. Two. Two. Just a two. It's all good. Baby Reigns with the punch there as Chris Jericho follows up with an enziguri. Pretty evenly matched, but Jericho did get some big moves in there at the beginning. We'll see if he'll be able to continue and beat that ass. Baby Reigns going down with the headlock now. You knew it was going to happen. Into the turnbuckle now. Baby Reigns, big stinger splash in the corner. Double axe handle to the back of the neck of Chris Jericho as Baby Reigns is starting to string together some moves. Chris Jericho going to fire back with a drop kick. Stop that string as soon as possible. But Baby Reigns has got the hands. This man's putting it down on Chris Jericho, going for that knee. That man wants that leg. Jericho with a chop now as they follow up in the corner. Backbreaker there from Roman Reigns off the ropes. Dropping that leg. The Reigns drop. Big suplex there as now we have a reset. Six minutes and 30 seconds in. Roman Reigns, Samoan drop on Chris Jericho. But, oh, wait a minute. Jericho's looking a little sloppy. Big power slam. Shouts out to Braun Strowman for that one. Baby Reigns again targeting the shoulder of Chris Jericho. Wait a minute, he's got him up. No, Chris Jericho going to reverse. Does he want the walls? He does. Give up. Give up. Will Baby Reigns be able? Yes. Baby Reigns will get out of the walls of Jericho. And my man wants that fist. Big Lariat there from Baby Reigns now as he's looking to follow up with a Superman punch. But I don't even know what just happened. I don't have words for what just happened, people. Off the ropes now, Chris Jericho with a big lariat. Picks up Baby Reigns. Drop kick action. Jericho stringing together some moves here. My man's looking to move on. Baby Reigns going to try to stop it by going there for that shoulder shock. But Chris Jericho going to body slam him. Jericho now back driver sends Roman Reigns head straight to the mat. He wants to make him bleed his own blood. Baby Reigns with a clubbing blow to the back of the neck. Chris Jericho going to fire back with a Kevin Nash elbow. And Roman Reigns wants that Superman punch. Will Chris Jericho allow him to do it? Baby Reigns now flurry of punches. Sends him straight to the mat as he picks up Chris Jericho. He's moving in. Enziguri will stop Baby Reigns in his tracks. 10 minutes, 18 seconds in. The kick of disrespect from Chris Jericho now as he drags Baby Reigns to the center of the ring. Another. Oh, my goodness. This man, Chris, is out of control. Someone has got to stop him. And that person will be Baby Reigns as he picks Jericho up and slams him into the mat. 2.9. Two. Two Chris Jericho will kick out, but Baby Reigns is going to follow up with a running power slam. The kick of disrespect from Baby Reigns. He's going to call back by a code breaker from Chris Jericho. Will he go for the pin? He does. Doesn't He doesn't have the leg. Two, and it doesn't even matter. Chris Jericho and Grant M will be moving on. Chris Jericho with a successful PCW debut here in PCW. Yes, This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On our way to the ring, representing Vincent E. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. She's James Ellsworth's worst nightmare, Asuka. On his way to the ring, representing Connor D. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's going to go up in smoke. Rob Van Dam. Oh, baby. Rob Van Dam and Oscar, the battle of the kicks. Will Robbie be able to hit that five star? Or will Oscar use them butt cheeks to move on? Rob Van Dam going to go for a pin? This man wanted a pin this early? Well, Oscar said you're going to get these feet. 
Have fun with these kicks, Rob. Center of the ring now, Asuka. Oh, she's gonna try to neutralize the legs. That is a good strategy. Look at that stance Asuka's got. She's getting low to the ground. She's playing Ryu and she's turtling in the corner. Rob Van Dam with a body slam will send her straight to the ground, but Asuka is not gonna allow that kind of disrespect in her house. Just a one count as Rob now tries to drive her into the mat, maybe trying to break her neck. Rob knows the weight advantage he has. He knows he has the height advantage. He knows that he has the strength advantage, but what he doesn't know is that nobody is ready for Asuka. A big kick from Rob will send her to the ground. Asuka gonna follow up by dragging Rob's old stupid ass to the center of the race. She wants some of that work. Rob with a throw over the shoulder now. Center of the ring, Asuka off the ropes with the butt cheeks. But Rob was able to move out of the way. She will settle for a drop kick. You know she wanted to use them butt cheeks. Oh, a big spinning high kick from Rob Van Dam, but Asuka was prepared for the move. As Rob now goes for a pin, probably gonna get a one. No, a two count on the Asuka? Really? Okay. Uh-oh, Rob up. Five star frog splash. But Asuka said, I don't care. That was more like a four star if you ask me. Oh, there she goes. I'm surprised Rob's not going to go for a little dive-dive action, but he's going to go back to the center of the ring and get some stamina back. Smart move now as... Uh-oh. Strike contest. Kicks coming down from Asuka and Rob. Asuka now with a big spinning high kick to Rob Van Dam, dropping him like a bag of hot rocks. And now she's going to go after him. And Rob's going to send her off the ropes and hit a spinning high kick one more time. He knows that's the answer to getting Asuka down. But Asuka just ended this man's whole life. Just a two count off the spinning kick from Asuka. I thought that was it. Following up with the trifecta of kicks, sending Rob to the ground towards the turnbuckle spinning high kick to the back of the neck of Rob Van Dam. This man is out cold for two seconds. As Rob now tries to follow up, buzzsaw kicking coming from Asuka. She goes for the pin one more time. Will she get the three? 2.9 as Rob Van Dam just barely kicks out of that one. And then Zagiri there from Rob Van Dam, who's near the turnbuckle. It's not good for Asuka, but Asuka will follow through with the roll up. Not going to get the three there, but it was a smart decision. Spinning kick from Rob Van Dam now as he says his little taunt. I don't know what the taunt's supposed to be. Fujiwara arm bar from Asuka. She wants to break that thing off. What, what is the... Oh! Spinning kick there from Robbie. But the arm bar is locked in on Van Dam. Will he give up? No, he will not. Is Rob gonna... Can we talk about the taunt thing? Like, Rob, what, what do we do? Kit Kat bar. Chrysler car. Five star frog splash. But Asuka is back to her feet one more time. Trifecta kick fighting spirit here from Asuka. She's going behind Robbie. Off the rope. She wants the butt cheeks. Rob Van Dam does not give a damn about some butt cheeks. Five star frog splash. And Asuka doesn't care. She doesn't even think it's a five star. She's going to leave a bad Yelp review on that one. Both characters are down. Asuka now aiming for the head of Robbie. As she goes off the ropes and just kicks this man over before getting him back to his feet. Oh, double kicks will send Rob to the ground now as she tries to follow up. Oh my goodness. Is Rob going to give up? And he does, Asuka, with the submission. And Rob is going home to Battle Creek, Michigan. Is that a real place or just a Halo map? Nobody actually knows. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Johnny C from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he's still the Carolina Caveman, Trevor Lee. On his way to the ring, representing Galvanizer from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's Charlotte's Papa and the Woo Machine himself, Rick Flair. Oh, look at this. The Carolina Caveman versus the Carolina Legend. Trevor Lee versus Rick Flair. Look at this man, Rick in the black and red. Okay. He got that clean cut. Okay. He's really out here trying to represent in PCW Destino. 
We'll see who can come out on top. The future of the Carolinas. Or the legend of the Carolinas. Let's see what goes down here as Trevor Lee bashes this old man in the back of his neck. This man, Trevor Lee, is not going to give up for just a second. Rick is one to break out some moves here and there. You know what I'm saying. Women, hide your friends. Men, hide your wives. Men, hide your men. And wives, hide your friends. Yes, sir. You can get a beat from me on SoundCloud for free. Just hit me up in my DMs. I got you. Ric Flair now with the pile driver on Trevor Lee. Is that going to be enough? 2.9. Trevor Lee almost going down. But Ric Flair. Ooh, Ric Flair said 200 IQ, baby. Uh-oh, we got a strike contest. Past and future going at it now. Who will come out on top? Trevor Lee with a super kick on Ric Flair. But just a one count. Ric Flair does not care about no damn super kick unless it's coming from Sean. Oh, Sean. Hit a kick, Sean. Figure four from Ric Flair, now center of the ring. Trevor Lee's going to get out. You know he's been watching the tapes. You know he's been putting a figure four once or twice in his life. Trevor Lee going to take Ric Flair down. What has he got in mind here? Ric Flair suplex, sending him to the mat. Uh-oh, figure four leg lock from Ricky. Is Trevor Lee going to give up? No, he is not. Ric Flair sending Trevor Lee backwards there with a suplex. Trevor Lee going to fire back, sending him down with a drop toe hold. Now Bulldog from Trevor Lee. That's a little old school action. Ric Flair say, hey, I've been in the max. I've, I've, been in, I've been in the Bulldog before. Back body drop there from Trevor. Just a one count. Rick ain't even close, baby. Gut wrench suplex sends Trevor Lee right to the mat. And now he is out cold. Now look at this old school. Wait a minute, Ricky. Figure four. Is that going to be enough? No, it's still not enough. Yo, Trevor's kind of persevering. I mean, Rick's got to give, you know, credit where credit is due. As he drags Trevor Lee now, center of the ring, he's out. Oh my God, when have you seen a chop to the back take a man out with the force of Rick Flair? You just don't see that very often. Rick is gonna pick Trevor Lee up into the corner, goes Trevor. Oh, wait a minute. A little brain buster action there from Trevor Lee. I feel like that was supposed to be God's last gift or the animation close to it, the small package driver. Rick Flair flipping over Trevor now because he don't care about those moves. Unless it's a double axe handle off the top rope. A regular suplex. It ain't hurting Ricky. Figure four and Trevor Lee gives up almost immediately as Ric Flair and Galvanizer. Look at this bit to our IQ. Galvanizer move on to the next round. Rick showing that he's still in the mix. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Kobe J from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the superstar formerly known as Joey Battle Begolia Goldberg. On his way to the ring, representing Frost T from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is the one and only Ricochet. Oh, baby. One and only Ricochet versus Goldberg. Oh, uh, yes, sir. We'll see who can come out on top as Ricochet and Goldberg have quite the difference in movesets, would you not say? Ricochet out here doing flips. Goldberg out here ending careers with kicks. Goldberg now. Oh, wait a minute. I thought he was going to go on that top rope, but Goldberg going to reverse with suplexes, sending them to the outside. Goldberg was about to chase. And that ain't gonna happen there. Goldberg now center of the ring. Ricochet gonna do a 630 moonsault flippity biff off the top of the moon bomb into the space world. But that's not gonna happen as Goldberg's gonna be able to stop him. Out goes Ricochet. Goldberg said, just bring it. He said, this is WCW. You wouldn't have a chance. Your ass wouldn't get out of the first two matches on the card. But this ain't WCW, baby. This is PCW where things are a little different. Ricochet going over. Goldberg, uh-oh, you don't want to throw Goldberg up the ropes. You got to watch out for that. You might hit that hurricane running out, Ricochet, but you watch out. This man comes off the ropes. You better get that spear. 
Suplex from Goldberg now sends Trevor. Trevor sends him over towards the turnbuckle. Oh, nice. Sending him down to the ground. Oh, and being near the turnbuckle is not where Goldberg wants to be against Rick. O'Shea. Over goes Trevor. What's he got in his arsenal now? A little suplex, maybe a jumping suplex. I think he cleared the floor there with his feet. But Goldberg said, who cares about that when I can pick you up? I got dad strength now, boy. It's a little different. Uh-oh, off the ropes, Goldberg. Wait a minute, Hurricane Runner from Rick O'Shea. Off the ropes one more time. Oh, a bicycle kick would drop Goldberg, but Goldberg said, I don't care. Oh my goodness, Goldberg, did you see how quick this man just got up Trevor? Oh my God, I'm unironically calling him Trevor now. What have I done? Off the ropes goes Goldberg now with a big lariat. An uppercut, ooh, we got a strike contest between Ricochet, not Trevor. And Goldberg. <laughs> Goldberg's picking him up now. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, a little swing. Oh, what do you think? He's Tanahashi now, huh? Goldberg's. Oh, my goodness. This man with the spear. He saw one Tanahashi match. He said, you know what? I'm going to do it to him. There's that spinning kick. I don't know why that's in Goldberg's moveset, but okay. Wait a minute. Trifecta Fisherman Buster shouts out to Eddie Guerrero with it. Ricochet bringing it out. Good God Almighty, the spinning kick of doom. Ricochet flipping Goldberg over now. Off the ropes, he wants that Hurricane Rana, but Goldberg said, I've seen it coming. Ricochet with the elbow to the back. Wait a minute. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Was that like a double? Oh my goodness, a Superman punch. Oh, a cut off from Ricochet. This man is stringing together, I don't even know. Trifect, how is this man, Rick O'Shea, pulling this off? But Goldberg said, I don't care. Look at this. I bring my son in the ring and he takes his shirt off. How are you gonna beat me? Ricochet with the kick. I don't even know this man. I'm pretty sure that man brought up the double moons off. I don't even know. Wait a minute, Ricochet reversing Goldberg. Both men are down nine minutes in. Wait a minute. Been a driller from Rick O'Shea. Is that going to be enough to put away the old man? No, it is not. Old man Goldberg still alive. Ricochet. 630 Sinton. Is that enough to put away Goldberg? Flippy shit. Be gone, says Goldberg. Uppercut there from Ricochet. Wait, no way. 630 again. How is he doing this? How is he getting these torques? Just a two. Goldberg said, not today. Not now. Not ever. Kick the uh oh off the ropes. Ricochet with the flipping senton into the moonsault. One, two, three. In it! He did it! The combination senton into moonsault was just enough to put away Goldberg, who has to go home and do the dishes because his kid forgot to do them. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Stefan D from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. When it rains, you're probably blaming him. He's the rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. On his way to the ring, representing Brandon Best from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's a member of Suzuki Gan, Minoru Suzuki. Oh baby, Kazuchika Okada. If I say oh baby one more time, we could start a drinking game. Minoru Suzuki is gonna try to take this man down. He's gonna try to take him out. Take him down, take him out. Minoru Suzuki with the pin now. Go he even got the leg on that, really? This man went for the leg ski? Hmm. I'll be diddly damn. Suzuki with a punch to the abdomen now. Okada dragging Suzuki out. He wants that Rainmaker early. One minute, 20 seconds in. He wants that Rainmaker. Combination. Minoru's... Oh, what are you doing? What was that? I'm going to need you to not do that one no more. Don't do that animation no more. All right, we good? All right, we good. Okada Death Valley Driver. Drop kick from Okada. You know this man's fired up after that animation. Give up. 
Okay. Okay. Suzuki. Suzuki now following up after whatever the hell that was. The knees to the head of Okada. Tries to go from behind, but not happening. Swinging neckbreaker there from Minoru Suzuki. Swinging neckbreaker from Kazuchika Okada. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Swinging neckbreaker from Minoru Suzuki. He said, no, you can't. You can't. I'm the man. You're not. But that's not the truth as Okada. Okay. Interesting moves from Suzuki. Back and forth strike contest. Okada ends it quick. Up he goes. Death Valley driver from Okada-san. Into the turnbuckle goes Suzuki. And now Okada's following up, stomping a mud hole. Stone Cold Steve Austin's out dropping the senton on the back of Suzuki. DDT from Okada. Okada gonna take a second to get his breath. This is why he's the ace. Into the turnbuckle goes Suzuki. Okada following up with the butt cheeks. What can you do when you see a fellow fellow's butt cheeks coming at you? Off the ropes goes Okada. Now drop kick from Minoru Suzuki. Who's gonna pick up Okada. But Okada gonna fire back with the DDT. Not gonna happen here tonight. He wants that Rainmaker. Suzuki knew how to make it not happen. Okada gonna pick him back up. Off the ropes and the full mount. Wait a minute. The knees. Can you? Is this legal? This is legal? Oh boy. If that's legal, Suzuki has found a new lethal weapon three. Oh, he's out cold. Okada wanted that Rainmaker, but he was playing possum as he gets a full mount one more time. But Okada turns it into an arm bar. I'll be damned. Suzuki gonna pick up Okada now after that arm bar. Oh, wait a minute. The combination knee punch kick. This guy has got a down pat, but Okada does not care about none of that. DDT from Okada. Oh, he wanted that Rainmaker. I can see it in his eyes. I can read, I can read his eyes. Combination from Suzuki now. What does he have planned here? Out of the ring goes Suzuki. You got nothing planned when you're on the outside of the ring, bub. My man is feeling a little woozy poozy. Little poozy poozy. Swinging neck breaker. Takes down Okada. Wait a minute. Tombstone. We've seen like four, three or four tombstones. This is crazy. This is just in this episode. Oh my goodness. Kazuchika Okada with the tombstone power driver. He said, ah, I'm using a tombstone this tournament, boys. Minoru Suzuki going out on his back. Kazuchika Okada and Steven D moving on. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Reed F from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He escaped from the asylum, now he looks like H. Dean Ambrose. On his way to the ring, representing Chris M from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. The cheese whiz extraordinaire, Rhino. Look at this man, Dean Ambrose. This man's got the fresh cut. He's got the muscles. But he's still wrestling in jeans. And if there's one thing that's going to be his downfall, it's the jeans. Rhino will take full advantage of the jeans. Back body drop there from Rhino. One thing that Dean's got to look out for if you're talking about on the side of Rhino is the gore. You know, you've only said it 300 times in his entrance song. So maybe Dean will remember it and move out of the way when he sees it coming. But he's so fast. He's so agile for a big man. Well, Rhino's like four foot eleven, so maybe not huge, but I mean the girth of Rhino is pretty crazy. Dean with a big elbow drop, but Rhino gonna move out of the way. Oh my goodness. Tell me Dean ain't turning heel. Dean with a knee to the abdomen now. Rhino throwing that forearm. Big belly to belly souple. Dean dragging Rhino out now as he picks him back up. Maybe a string of moves here from Dean, a body slam. That ain't gonna be enough, Dean. Okay, you're messing with the man beast here. He's like an actual rhino that trans... You ever seen... You ever read Animorphs? You ever go to Scholastic Book Fair and get a, a book called Animorphs? And you know how, like, the animals... Like, one, one dude turned into, like, an anteater. That's like rhino. But he turns into, like, a rhino. With a Y. Both men are down. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Wait a minute. Rhino, big power bomb sends Dean to the floor. He's coming for that haircut, boy. 
both men down once again. They must be putting some damage into each other. Or they're just both gassed. I mean, who knows? Dean now going for a pin. Not going to grab the leg. Not even close, baby. Off the ropes goes Dean. Going to be able to reverse it. Now he's going behind Rhino. Driving him into the good God almighty. You see the force Dean put on that? My man is going to wild and out. What was he? I think maybe he'd been going for a dirty D's there. But he ain't going to get a good gore from Rhino. Just a 2 Dean able to kick out. That thing came out of nowhere. I told you the speed and agility of an Animorph is crazy. Dean back up. Gore again from Rhino. Same position, same spot. Dean has lost his marbles. Just a two once again. You could play that clip over. It'd probably be in the same position. You wouldn't even know the difference. Dean going to try to stop the Gores with a Bulldog. Smart decision, maybe? We'll see if that works out. Dean going to follow up with a knee, but into the corner goes Dean Ambrose as Rhino now tree of woe, old school style kicking him in the dick. Gore from Rhino, one more, was that three gores? Is that enough? Same spot and everything, no, just a two. Deja vu one more time, down goes Dean, wait a minute, my man, he said he was, I haven't used the gore this match, I'm going to use the gore. Suplex from Rhino now, Dean Ambrose back to his feet, gore, no, Dean was able to move out of the way. I thought maybe he was going to be able to trap him into like a dirty deeds type of thing. I don't know what I was expecting him to do. Dean now from the center of the ring. Big forearm shiver there. My man's got a little hunky dory punch. My man, a little bit of a little shim sham on it. A little bit of a bam. Dirty deeds from Dean Ambrose. But he's not able to follow up with a pin, and that could be his demise. Off the ropes goes Rhino. Big lariat from Dean Ambrose now. Rhino, 411, but the straight up strength of this beast. This man beast, this actual rhinoceros. Dean gonna punch him in the abdomen. Out goes Rhino, big bulldog from the shaved man. Dean gonna follow up with a punch. Rhino gonna follow up with a punch. Back and forth off the ropes is not good. Gore from Rhino. Is that enough to put away Dean? 2.9, not just yet. Dean Ambrose. Gore again. Oh my goodness, this man is not even paying attention. He's not even paying attention. Just a two one more time. Rhino gonna throw it back. Maybe another gore. Gore! <laughs> is that enough? No, it's not, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Dean is he's still there. It's not enough. A punch here from Rhinoceros, man. Dean to the top rope. Big elbow drop from Dean Ambrose. And both men are down 11 minutes, 15 in. Off the ropes now, Rhino, big spine basta. What is this, Gorilla Press Slam? Look at the strength. A big lariat in the back of the neck. And now we got ourselves a strike contest. Rhino and Dean Ambrose. Rhino, big lariat. Dean Ambrose, big spinning lariat. My man put some heat on it. Dropping the elbows now. Wait a minute. Dean, go over that dirty deeds. Rhino said no to that. Up goes Dean Ambrose. Wait a minute. Dirty deeds. But Dean not able to follow up again. That is really coming back to haunt him. Oh, I thought he was going for a Death Valley driver. My man spun it out real quick. Dean is a little hunky-dory. Rhino belly to belly suplex will send him to the mat. Rhino has him up. Big power bomb stuffs Dean Ambrose, and now Rhino. No, he's not going to get hit by the Dirty Deeds. He's going to send Dean Ambrose out to the outside. Dirty Deeds to the concrete. What is this man Dean doing? Oh my goodness, Tranquilo Dean Ambrose. We'll see what happens after that. Oh my goodness, Rhino said, "Just bring it, bitch." Rhino is taking them chops in pride. This is a hard-hitting matchup. Dean with the lariat off the ropes. Wait a minute. Rhino, no. Go for that gore. Both men go down 15 minutes, 10 seconds in. Dirty Deeds coming up. No reverse by Rhinoceros guy. Out goes Rhino. Dean Ambrose. Oh, my goodness. He had a chance there, but Dean's going to take time. Gives him stamina back. Look at this man's biceps. Flurry of punches here from the Rhino. Well, from Dean Ambrose to the Rhinoceros. A punch there from Dean now is, wait a minute, power bomb from Rhino. Up goes Dean into the corner. 
Uh oh, Rhino with the combination punches. Dean Ambrose back to his feet. Oh, the kick to the new sicklers. Dean with a hit in the back, drops Rhino, but Rhino gonna hit him with an elbow. Off the ropes, both men down once again. This is equally matched here. Dirty deeds from Dean Ambrose, he finally gets it. 2.9, it's not enough. It's never enough. He's an Animorph. Dirty deeds, but he can't follow up. Dean Ambrose, oh my God, he's wonky. Alabama slam from Rhino. Rhino steals the win! Sorry, Dean. Maybe another day, brother. He's like Ultra Super Saiyan Vegeta. He's just not fast enough anymore. He got too big. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round one match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Battleman of 5595 from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the guy your math teacher probably despises, Scott Steiner. On his way to the ring, representing Sam M from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he's the John Cena of New Japan, Hiroshi Tanahashi. And now for the final match of part one of round number one, we have Scotty Steiner and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Two legends in this biz, two legends in PCW. Scott Steiner, he's done it before. He's won the dance. Hiroshi Tanahashi, on the other hand, has not. High fly 2.9 off the high fly flow at one minute, 10 seconds. Scott Steiner's done the damn thing before. High fly flow, Tanahashi said, well, I'm going to do it this time, damn it. 2.9. Scotty with an STF now. He's all right, that's it. You're going down. Tanahashi chasing down Scotty. Scotty now showing off the pure, unadulterated strength. Punch to the back of the neck as Tanahashi will fire back with a forearm of his own. Tanahashi trying to get to the dance. Scott Steiner trying to get back there. Tanahashi trying to go from behind Scott Steiner. Up goes Tanahashi. Down he goes. Scotty off the ropes now. Big shoulder tackle. Tanahashi throws a forearm of his own now. And oh my goodness. Scotty's going underneath the belt a little bit. Big Steiner line now as Scott sends him down to the mat. Just a two. Tanahashi able to kick out. Pump handle. I don't even know what a pump handle. Sounds like a pump handle throw. Pump handle throw. Now we have a strike contest back and forth. Scotty and Tanahashi, who will come out on top? Tanahashi going down. Scotty going to go down second using all of his chakra. Oh, Frankensteiner from Scott Steiner spiking Tanahashi in the mat. Look at Tanahashi's mouth is wide open. He don't even know what's going on no more. 2.9 pump handle throw. One more time from Scotty, whose muscles are bulging out of his arms. This man is huge. Tanahashi, high fly flow to Scotty. 2.9 Scott said, not today, boy. Off the, oh my goodness, the classic. Tanahashi gonna go for a pin like the experienced veteran that he is. And out, go, wait, no way. This man Tanahashi ain't gonna do it. High fly flow to the floor. Scott Steiner eating concrete. This man Tanahashi is wilding out. Down goes Tanahashi, it's an 11 count. 12, back in the ring, here he is. Scott taking big boy damage off that last move. Into the turnbuckle, Tanahashi ain't playing around. Big clothesline in the corner. German suplex, a little high angle with a bridge. Just a two count. Scott gonna drag Tanahashi. Oh, he said it's over. This man said it's over. A big shoulder tackle there. Scotty gonna try to follow it up into the corner. Oh, Tanahashi able to turn it around. High angle, German suplex bridge one more time. And he got him! Hiroshi Tanahashi taking out Scott Steiner early and taking Sam M to the next round. Hey, buddy. Doing a big ass eat, Tana Tana. All right, everybody. And that was the first part of round number one of PCW Destino. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you did, to leave a thumbs up. Tell me down in the comments what your favorite match of the episode was. And I will see you guys on part number two. Have a good one. See you.